Hey, this is Paul with Paul's Mobile Homes. I came across some information the other day about people retiring and uh, in the same breath talking about mobile homes for people retiring. And a lot of good points were made and I thought I would pass some of them along to you right now. I'm here at an open house and the other people just left and there's nobody here at the moment so I've got a few minutes. So. There's a lot of people getting, you know, there's a, what is it? They call them the baby boomer generation or something. Um, you know, uh, there's a whole bunch of people like that hitting the retirement age. And, uh, you know, when you look at retirement, you look at living on one floor is easier than living on three floors, not going up and down the stairs and downsizing and having a smaller space and less to pay every month. And when you start talking about all those different subjects, remodeled mobile homes and mobile home parks, starts to make a lot of sense. And it makes a lot of sense for another reason too, in terms of it's, it's, it's friends and it's companionship. I mean, when you're older, you don't wanna be out in the country somewhere by yourself, you know, 15 miles from other people. At least most people don't, the majority of people. Me, I'd be okay with that. But the companionship that you get in a park, you know, where you have an active clubhouse, you know, and you've got you know, amenities like, you know, you've got a swimming pool, you've got, you know, just picnic grounds and a boat marina and stuff like that. These kind of parks become more and more and more appealing to people at the age of retirement. Retirement and getting old comes with certain things. It's a, you know, it's a recognition of your own mortality. Uh, your body, you know, for most people starts undergoing changes that aren't for the best, but you recognize, you know, it gets a little creakier, it gets a little slower, and it's better if you have a home more suited to, you know, what's happening in your life or, the, or your stage of life, as they like to say. And on a mobile home, you've got one, one floor. You know, they don't build them two stories. That would be called modular housing. Uh, but on, on the use mobile homes and parks, that's what they are. They're one story. So you're not climbing up and down lots of stairs all the time. And you have a lot of companionship. You have neighbors. You have a social life. Some parks, uh, you know, have some really good clubhouse activities. Um, you've got amenities. And you've got a lot of things that actually fit really well with the lifestyle. Then, even if you're paying lot rent, some people, you know, exclaim and they have smoke blowing out their ears on the lot rent thing. I'm not a mobile home park owner, so I don't know what to say about the lot rent. But um, I know that lot rent is there, and I know that between the lot rent and the uh, monthly mortgage, if you compare a mobile home to an apartment, hands down, the mobile home wins. You've got your own privacy, you have neighbors, you know, you can barbecue outside, you can have a deck. You know, uh, when I did a comparison a few months ago, I actually went into looking at apartments in Bear, Delaware. Uh, you know, the, the apartments there were like, I think it was $1,550 and $1,750 a month for a two-bedroom, two-bathroom, nice apartment. I wasn't looking at some, you know, you know, they were, they were nice, admittedly. They were very nice, and I liked those apartments. But you're paying that much money, and, you know, to pay, you know, um, a mortgage payment, you know, to a, a mobile home lender on a monthly basis, and the lot rent, you'd be closer to, like, $900 or $1,000. So it's a big difference money-wise, and... You know, people in retirement, uh, a lot of them go on a fixed income. You know, you've got whatever you've got. You've got your pension and you've got your social security or whatever you do have. And not everybody has those things. So the fixed income aspect is important. So in a mobile home, in a mobile home park, you can come in a lot lower than you could in a nice apartment. And it would be a bigger home and you'd have all these other features that I'm talking about that you wouldn't get there. So for a lot of people at a retirement age called uh, boomers or baby boomers, many, many more are looking at this opportunity because those features of one, people, uh, you're around other people and you're around a lot of other people your own age, even if it's not an over 55 community. I mean, in most of the all ages parks I deal with, I would say the majority of the people are over 45, the majority. Yes, there are some younger people and there are kids and everything else, and I think that's a great mix, but you also have enough older people your own age that it makes a lot of sense to be around them. They understand and have similar difficulties. It's easy to get in and out of the house. You have social activity, you have neighbors that can help, 
and you have lower expenses even if you're on a fixed income. I mean, one of the things that you need to look at in terms of any kind of retirement is the whole fixed income thing. And um, it can be a real problem. You could get, you know, toward the older uh, stages of life and realize, you know, Social Security isn't going isn't gonna to pay your way for the rest of your life. And if you haven't set up anything else, then, you know, any place to say can start to become a big problem, you know. People solve that in a number of ways and, you know, uh, sometimes they stay with family and that kind of thing. But if you have the income for it and you can afford $1,000, $1,200 a month on housing, you know, you can get like a not so good apartment or you can get a really nice mobile home in a mobile home park. And that has the added benefits and features that I was talking to you about. And due to the fact that uh, a, lot, a lot of people are moving to that age, it is driving up the demand for these kind of mobile homes. It's getting more in demand. And so what does that do when demand gets driven up for something? That's right. It drives up the price a little bit. So now is a really great time before these guys retire in droves and droves. Now is a great time to get into a used mobile home in a mobile home park. And I do know that the prices are inching up a little bit on those things uh, in the areas that I deal with in Delaware. Now, one thing about mobile homes and some people who've there are some people who had experience with mobile homes maybe 20, 30, 40 years ago. And their thought and idea of a mobile home is something different than what it is starting to become today. A lot of these homes are getting remodeled, so they're really nice. And some people think of, you know, a mobile home from, from back in the day. And they remember back when, you know, lot rent was $300 a month and, you know, gas was 80 cents and things like that. Well, all those things have marched on. I don't know what to say about that, but prices have a way of going up. Uh, I know how that works. I know who engineered it, and I know how it keeps on going, and that's a whole other subject. But the fact is, is that that's not going to stop. That's what I want to say. So if your Social Security is fixed or something else is fixed, um, you've got to have another way to deal with that because prices just do keep going up. And the reason is it's already been set in place. It's all this printing of money. It's already going to drive the prices up. And I, I'm not, not going to go into a, a lesson on how that works. So that's exactly what happens. The prices go up big time. So right now is what I'm saying. And I know I'm being a little bit long-winded about it. Is because of all those factors, now is a great time to get yourself into a mobile home in a mobile home park. And uh, I wish I could finish more than I do. And... Uh, because sometimes I run out of homes and, you know, people maybe really wanted one and they don't, they don't get a chance to get it. So uh, I'm working on expanding that and making it more. And in the future, I'm trying to also get to, because I have a lot of people that have asked me about Kent County in Delaware. In Delaware, you have Newcastle County in the north and you have Sussex in the south where there's a lot of, there's a lot of mobile homes at the beaches. And in the middle, there's Kent County. And um, I'm, I plan to actually get some uh, mobile homes remodeled in Kent County as soon as I can, too. So that's to answer some of those questions. In terms of mobile homes on their own land, the truth of that is the following. For a person uh, coming to retirement age, I don't think they're the best solution. You know, I mean, you're going to be isolated. You're going to be by yourself in a lot of cases, you know. You find a parcel of land and you move the mobile home to it. A lot of those expenses are a lot more than most people think they are because you've got the septic, you've got the sewer, you've got moving the mobile home onto it, you know, and then you have setup fees and those are regulated, uh, what happens on the setup and how that happens with the county. And so the moving of the home and the siting of the home, as they call it, can add up to more than you may originally think. Like way back in the day when your grandfather got a mobile home and he had an extra piece of land and he just towed it over there and put it there and that was that. It was the cheapest thing on wheels. It was a fantastic deal. I mean, these days, you know, if you can't find a nice home, you're going to go to a new manufacturer. You're going to pay $70,000 for a single wide. Then you have to get it towed inside it. You got to get the septic done. You got to, you know, you have to put stairs on it, skirting on it. You know, so it winds up being a lot more than you look at initially. So I really think the best deal still, uh, especially for somebody in that age bracket where they're retiring, is a mobile home in a mobile home park. 
And uh, I think that's, uh, you know, you could make out pretty good there and uh, really enjoy life and have a lot of friends. Okay, this is Paul with Paul's Mobile Homes. Thanks for listening and have a great day.